Hello, I'm Amy. I'm the Clinical Specialist for SABO UK and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your electrical stimulator to facilitate closing of the hand and grasping around an object. Particularly if you've got no activity at all, this is a nice thing to use your device for. So I've already pre-set up my electrodes. So right on the underneath of my forearm, I've got one on my muscle belly of my flexors that close the hand. And then around the thumb, I'm going around that big fleshy bit at the base of the thumb to help pull the thumb in to get my hand around the object. So I'm using our Sabo Stim Pro. I've turned it on and again, I'm going to go with program one, which is a typical setup for muscle strengthening. So to press go, I'm going to press the channel button. So the A is flashing and I've got the lead in channel A and then I'm going to turn it up. And then hopefully you'll start to see my fingers curling in and my thumb coming in as well. So it's now grasping. So the device is off at the moment. And then as that black bar comes in, it's closing the hand. So you can sit and just let the program run through this. So muscle strengthening to build up power. But it would be nice to incorporate this in a task again. So you could use, I've got a ball here. So it's going to squeeze my hand around the ball so it gives my brain a bit of a visual prompt and again I want to be thinking about trying to work with the, the device so as soon as I feel the tingling I'm actively trying to close my hand with the ball. Top tip if you've got a tendency for when the stimulation comes on that your wrist starts to bend ideally we'd have our wrist in an extended position so we keep the muscle nice and long so if I have a ball on the table, but it could be a roll towel or a water bottle or a sports bottle, it's going to keep my hand in a nice wrist in a nice position and I can feel the stimulation coming in to close around the ball. So it's in a rest at the moment. As soon as I feel the tingling, I'm going to squeeze with it and then it'll switch off. You could combine this if your device allows you, I'm just going to pause it at the moment by pressing that. If your device does have a second channel, I could put the second lead in and this device on program three, so if I press P and scroll through to P3, there's an alternating program. So channel A will stimulate the close of my hand, that will then switch off and channel B will come in and if I put the electrodes on the top of my forearm, channel B will come in and open my hand. As soon as that switches off, channel A comes in and closes, that switches off, and then I get the opening with channel B. So you could still use the ball to do that, to get close and opening with the stimulation device, remembering to engage and look at the object and work with the stimulator. Thank you.